good morning everyone and welcome to week two in Nigeria. This is Sunday and I'm headed to my third church. Some of you didn't guess right, the last one I did, last one I went to two different churches and I had to guess it but not everybody guessed it right. But it's fine. So today I'm going to be worshipping in two other churches. I will repeat one of those that I went last week and a new one. So let me know in the comment section which ones do you think they would be. Yes, I don't deserve it. Okay, it's around Nikon Luxury. Luxury. Around Nikon Luxury. So if you're in Abuja, you have to use your brain now and think. Alright, so let's go to church. <music> for me and at least past last week and this week i've attended three different churches and i can categorically tell you what i've observed something i'm going to be making a very different video about that it's something i'll have to sit down and dissect it very very well but at the moment um i actually had a great time in god's presence the word of god i talked about mountains whenever we see mountain we think about darkness we think about struggles and hurdles which is true and if Satan wants to destroy somebody he he makes sure this person focuses so much on whatever mountain it is that befalls them like it's in their presence instead of seeing that light Zerubbabel, um zachariah saw the light first even when the mountain was there there has to be some level of revelation so whatever situation or problem or challenges we all go through which everyone has their own demon to fight so they keep fighting but our focus should not be on that mountain the focus of course you can't deny the fact that it's there but the focus should be on that light what is god trying to tell you at that moment what is he trying to teach you there are things that there are people who go through challenges come out of it and learn nothing and it will still affect them later in life so no matter the mountain it is try to be sure that you know what god is trying to say to you in that season the mountain will pass it will pass nothing lasts forever it's definitely going to pass but what if the lesson that you're supposed to learn the relationships god is supposed to bring to you or make them end as a result of those mountains what if um the one of the purpose god wanted for you was to draw closer to him and you just allow the whole problem consume you and make you run away and stay away completely from god you see that you have defeated the purpose of that mountain because you focus so much on the negativity so i'm not here to preach but that was what was the summary of what was shared in the church and we prayed you know nsvd now they go pray we prayed prayers so uh, let's uh i'm going home and um continue i'll be going to the second church so i'll still not tell you but it's one of the churches i attended last week and um so let's go this one is how much like this cup how many did they inside uh, no me no i can't say it's a puller now it pull them how much one pipe one pipe uh, you don't have small one you don't have 500 own You don't you won't give me from these red ones. How many did there? Five. How about madam? Even this Madam, this one five and then Please if you if you go give me this one, three how much how much you go say give me? Three one five. Only three pieces, one five. Uh, give you one now. Yeah. 
I just want you to cook noodles, so I don't know what you want to cook. Oh. Yes. But this one, no. how about? Yes, I don't know what I don't want this one. This one, I know Adam did this one. No vex, 500. Then Pepe, how much is Pepe? 500 last. 500 last. Yeah. Because I just carry this one, they go. Man of God, you can start again. You are God's investment. My dear sister, you can start again. You are God's investment. This is, I'm drumming it because there is an anointing on this statement I made. God's investment. There are a million men of God on earth. I agree, but I am God's investment. Unique investment. My sister, there are many women who can pray, but you are God's investment. He does not treat you like he's treating any other person. Don't mind naysayers and ignorant people who don't know your value. You are God's investment. I'm drumming it in your heart. I want it to keep playing in your mind as you sleep. I am God's investment. God's investment. His hand is upon me. What's that P. Daniel song? Sing it for me. One Yoruba person, sing that song for me. Your hand is upon me. Giving me speed. Let me be an intercessor for you in one minute that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray for you the forces that fight god's program fight your role in actualizing god's program i curse them right now in jesus name by the ministry of the blood i decree and declare over you that every legal access satan has over your life and over your bishopric in the name of jesus let the blood speak right now let the blood speak mercy let the blood speak freedom let the blood speak jubilee let the blood speak liberty number two i pray for you that the wisdom that is needed in this new season wisdom grows because it is alive the wisdom needed to scale your impact the faith needed to dare things that men cannot even dare and in the name of jesus the empowerment of the spirit that helps you to run through a troop and to leap over walls in the name of jesus may they rest upon you Empowered by wisdom, receive it. Empowered by the spirit of faith, receive it. By this impartation, fear dies in your life. The fear of the past dies in your life. The fear of opinions of men die in your life. The fear of failure dies in your life. The fear of the future dies in your life. In the name of Jesus. And then I pray for you seeing that even your destiny is men dependent everyone ordained by god to show up in your life your ministry in this season to make your calling and your election sure i pray that speedily they will show up i pray that speedily they will appear i say it again speedily they will show up speedily they will appear in the name of jesus christ please be seated wake up in the morning and not know what you have to do have a checklist so you don't have to spend energy thinking what am I supposed to do today you already know you planned it yesterday now you can just get into action because if you're sitting there oh well, what should I do okay maybe I should do this right now or maybe I should do that right now now you're having decision fatigue about what you're going to do and you may not even do anything you may waste time have a direction for your day have a structure for your week 
have a day where you rest. So, like I said, I refused or I agreed or I finally made up my mind that I wasn't going to complain again. But you can't stay in Nigeria and it takes a high level of the spirit of God inside of you not to really get mad and complain. We spent roughly how many hours now going to and from? I spent if not close to two weeks because of NIN, NIN issue like that um, that I was trying to fix. Okay, I got this NIN now a few days ago and today I went to MTN um, office to um, work on my bad SIM card. I got there, they told me that my NIN is not modified. I, be, I should go to NIMSI, like NIN office. Okay, I went to NIN office now getting there they now told me okay it's not this particular office so she's not going to zone who says zone four three i'll be zone whatever zone three okay i used her to like i left it i started going to the first headquarters at the bank zenith bank and fcmb bank once they impute my bvn my bvn will be showing my information my picture and my information but once they impute my that same bvn in um police force portal it will be showing a Yoruba guy. I don't get it. I am not getting it. I now started imagining what if this was Lagos? The frustration will be will be on a different level. And what if I didn't really have someone to like take me around all this right? Like I always had to like um hail down and but I'll be I will be way, 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 way frustrated. By now, maybe I would have just given up, just go to the village, find one farming job and start doing farm. So that, like, the frustration is, it's way too much. It's too, and it's not as though the prices of these things, maybe the transportation system, or you, you will have to eat, of course, you have to drink water, even if you're fasting. So you would need something to give you a little bit of strength to continue on your journey. All these things is more and more ease and be money. It's why it's really really hard for when people think of I think uh, to an extent I'm, I'm beginning to think that maybe they are doing these things on purpose so that you get frustrated when you think of traveling abroad like before you go through all these police immigration NIN MTN whatever medicals you just get frustrated and just give up the entire thing because one is that you will spend a lot of money especially now that everything has tripled so I'm going back to FCMB. I went to FCMB. They asked me to go to FCMB. I went to FCMB. I went to Zenith Bank. They put my info, my BVN, my my details were showing. I went to the police force. They did the same thing. A Yoruba guy was showing. Now the police force have sent me back to 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 FCMB again. So I'm going to FCMB, and NIM portal is not working. No. It is either they will tell you the portal is down or you, next thing you hear that the network is bad or next thing you hear that the person is supposed to attend to is not on seat or next okay hmm. it's well wherever you are my sister sit down they don't come back don't come back if i had an option i wouldn't have come back but i don't have an option so that was i had to come back to fix this visa thing but if I come out, if God help me, and I come and I come out this one, I will come out before they will see me back in this country. Except maybe really, I have my visa. I just wanted to like you know breathe in and breathe out. That's the different. But if if it has to do, except maybe when my passport expires or my oh God, I bet don't bring me back to a situation like this again. Top three houses in Abu Dhabi.